So we're back at it here, Los Chingones Podcast, and today we got my sister-in-law, Yvette Texo, Blanca, and my brother. <laughs> That's what I think about him. I'm just kidding. But anyways, um, let's go ahead and dive right into it. How you, how you have you guys been? You know, I mean, I don't come that often, but <laughs> yeah, I think it's more kind of for podcast, you know? right? I don't how think you been? the babies recognize them anymore. Damn, <laughs> no, no, who's that? It's horrible. <laughs> I'm a horrible uncle. I'm just kidding. <laughs> You're that one uncle. <laughs> Everybody has him in the family. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, the, the crazy one. <laughs> exactly. Anyways, uh, what do you guys have like going on right now? I know you guys have been working on a couple things. Kind of dive into that. Go ahead. Ben. Oh, yeah. Um, Last time, did you talk about AOF and stuff and what's going on? Yeah, well, I spoke. Okay, so we decided to do the podcast together as a couple because last time around I didn't pay attention. It was super early, and <laughs> uh, I, I wasn't as close to the mic as I was supposed to be. So a lot of the stuff wasn't even heard. But uh, Blanca and I did a collaboration brand, Act of Faith, which is um, it's going good. We've been working since what, like March, April, maybe. Yeah. So it, it barely started to pick up, and um, you know it's taking a lot of time. But she has her own stuff going on. I have my own stuff going on. So doing something together, as much as it sounds easy, it's actually hard, a little harder, I think. But thankfully, we're getting closer to the finish line with that, and uh, it's been dope. Yeah, we've always been so used to doing everything separately. Mm -hmm. So now having something so meaningful and doing it together, it's gonna be successful. Yeah, you're a little closer. Sorry, good. Little little teamwork. That's what's up. So how how has that process been that you guys are working together now? I know you guys usually, uh, you know, again do your own brands. You got your own, you know, your your sharp and dapper stuff, and then you got your whole YouTube thing going on. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, you know, how's that working? You guys, you know, now connecting together and doing that kind of work. Like, how's that process been? Taking time away from, and not to say taking time away, but just kind of splitting up from there, like, and putting more effort into one thing, something new. Well, you have to build momentum. That's why I told her. I mean, she's super busy with her stuff. Like, she doesn't even know how to keep up with this. And sometimes. we're so different, too. Like, he's very patient and very just detailing and, like, we need to take our time. And me, I'm like, we need to do this. We need to do that. We need to be quick. We need to lunch tomorrow. We need to, like, Sheesh. so it's so different from, like, how I run my, my work and how he runs his work. So that's been, like, the, like, the tough part. Just yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it's dope because, you know, the other day, it's funny, we were doing the promo. And as soon as she stepped in, it, it just was smooth, you know? So it's like that perfect little balance. Like, I feel like sometimes I get lost, but it, it works out. It's just, um, I mean, I don't know how she manages sometimes, but she's super spontaneous. So I, I you know, as far as like a daily task, sometimes I have to, I like to be prepared, but she's in the moment. So it's very hard to balance that out sometimes. But somehow we're making it work with the, with the new brand. Yeah, I just like things quick. Yeah. And, and done and ready you know like and and i mean i take my time with perfecting things but him he just likes to make sure that everything is on track like slowly on a time frame and me i'm like okay if we're gonna do this it needs to launch by next week and we need to promote this and we need to promote that but it's been good yeah so we're excited when is this going live what this yes th this. this podcast yeah i don't know because we might be able to actually be ta like talk about the brand because if you guys uh, are not planning on doing it before we uh, announce. Wh when do you guys plan on announcing? Probably, Probably this week. Yeah, because we, we could drop it oh, this no, no, Friday no. coming we up, We could right? drop it this Friday coming up. No, we're, we're dropping the promo, like the behind the scenes. Yeah, but if we're going to be launching by the December 7th, we should be announcing by this week to next week. Yeah, but I don't know if we really so are. So if you guys want to <laughs> drop like his this Friday and ours next Friday, we can totally talk about the rest. Yeah, well, we could Does drop we it. We can wait for two weeks and no we can drop it whenever. I mean, what do you think? Do you think we should just drop it, um, drop this video as soon as you know what it is? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, we could wait if you guys could wait it out. Yeah, we can wait it out. We can write it out. It's all good. We got the other ones. All right, okay. go explain it. What is it? Tell them. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> Tears <laughs> coming out. I'm going to start crying. It's like, oh, my gosh. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. Go no, ahead, go ahead, go tell them. Know. They want to hear you. Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> I'll win. I'll win. <laughs> Come on, baby. You're better at this. Let All right. Know. So pretty much uh, we wanted to do something together. So I said we don't want, you know, what everybody else has. Obviously, no disrespect to anybody else. But we wanted to come different this time and um, focus on the quality of, you know, the garments that we're using. 
And yeah, it's a clothing brand. It's a little bit of everything. It's a more of a higher end. That's what we're aiming for. But everything is cut and sew, so it's there's a lot of detail from like the name tags to like the actual hanging tags to the packaging, the delivery, the the Instagram, the aesthetic, everything. So, um, you know, it's a unisex brand as well. So I got a little lost at times, going a little too street. And then she would be like, okay, that's not, that's cool, but it's not really for a girl. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So then that's where the balance comes in. But other than that, I mean, we're adding different stuff like jewelry and things like that. But it's super dope. I think right now we're at a point where guys and girls wearing a lot of the same stuff. Mm-hmm. So it fits. You know what I'm saying? Like so, even girls sure wear like <laughs> guys' sweaters. I was just yeah. going to say yeah. that. And I'm sure you guys are familiar with like your girlfriends or your wives like taking your sweaters. I don't have a girlfriend or, yet. Yeah. <laughs> girlfriend. <laughs> girlfriends. Girlfriends. <laughs> yeah. You know, they're, you've a been couple. missing a couple of sweaters, right? Yeah. yeah. So they always At least like three. <laughs> they always want to steal like your sweaters or your sweats. I don't know what it is about Lisa's sweats always fitting me better. Like I'm always like they just look more comfortable. So I told him we need to come out with a brand where – women can shop and it's still like men's wear but it doesn't yeah, make you like feel like it's a not guy's not, no, no i feel you my wife does that all the time mm-hmm. my she takes my sweaters and all that and wears them the, the sweats and i'm like where's yeah. my where's my sweater and i'm like <laughs> like you have a whole full closet of clothes yeah. Yeah, you're in my closet but i think yeah. that's like the tr- trend now like dressing like comfortably like yeah. even with like these cargo pants i got on like they're loose fitting like i used to wear those skinny jeans yeah. like they're too stuck on me and i was like man i can't even breathe like i couldn't yeah, even yeah. breathe in them so i feel like this is the style now i mean we're getting into that trend so it's dope yeah that's uh that's the approach we we've uh, had with it and obviously like some people we made the announcement um on her youtube not too long ago but I think a lot of people expected us to just like release what it was so soon, but we were still a little behind on some things that we had to catch up on. But obviously now, you know, people know what it is and um, we've revealed, you know, a couple of videos to show them, but it's dope. We focused on the quality and it shows, you know, even the name took how long to yeah. come yeah. up with, honestly, but tell them a little bit about what it means. Like act of faith. What does that mean to you? I mean, it's just the brand itself is taking action for your faith. You know, I feel like both of us, we've, both been entrepreneurs since we were really young and just showing that literally anything that you put your mind to you can accomplish and we've always had a you know very big passion for like how we dress and our fashion has always been something that we've loved and that we've joined together so I thought it was going to be the perfect thing for us to just bring out right you know but the meaning behind it of just it's not just a clothing line like it's not just like oh like let me just brand my name on you know sweats or a hoodie it was literally just us like it's a representation of who we are and then like us as a couple and you know that's where we came up with the unisex brand and it targeting both men and women yeah and it's uh something everybody could you know rock mm-hmm. but it's also a relatable you know it has yeah. a meaning the identity of the brand is is relatable and, and they I look think so good yeah like we quality. did so good in the quality we're gonna yeah. have to hop on that right yeah we're sure, we sure. we'll 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 like <laughs> yeah, we're rocking pictures <laughs> send yeah, we got you guys. hopefully you guys be posting <laughs> 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 yeah. for sure we'll be supporting that because like i said i mean obviously we like that stuff the sweats and, and that kind of that kind of attire um i mean we're, we're, we're pretty much gym rats you call it you know mm-hmm. gym rats that's kind of how i started my business and uh you know uh that's dope to hear that you get what you guys are creating you know um and I was going to ask, like, what kind of made you guys want to create that? You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Why that? You know, it's like, what kind of, there's always a reason behind creating that. And I know it's like the name behind it. You guys have said, you know, what the meaning behind it. But why the, uh, uh, you know, that clothing and, and all the accessories and everything that you're going to work on? Well, I think it's because a lot of people always are, we, we've both been into fashion since we were younger. And I feel like that was the thing that we both related with the most, you know. So we wanted to do that. And people... I don't even really post stuff because I was kind of out of the game for a while. Didn't really, you know, once you become a dad, you forget. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little bit. <laughs> you're, on, you're on the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're starting to lose like, it. Right? Yeah, I'm, I'm playing, but that happened. So I kind of got away from it. So I think people forgot. So I started posting more. And then um, people would always ask when I would post, like, yo, where'd you get your pants from this? So it, people follow us for those things. So I think it's dope to do something like that. But um, other than that, I, also the motivation part, I feel like people always compliment us on saying that we're always so positive and stuff. So I feel like we wanted to really add something like that into the brand. And it's like shit we really believe in, you know? So yeah, it, it's dope. And people thought that it was going to be like hair products or we were collaborating like in yeah. a cosmetic <laughs> line or something uh-huh. like that. But that's why it, it was nice to be able to just incorporate those two opposite things. I guess people assume because I do makeup, he does hair, it was going to be something along those lines. But the fact that we hit them with like fashion, I feel like that was yeah that was really good now yeah. how long ago did you guys have this planned like 
It could have been like the master plan. A couple months hey, ago. Master yeah. plan. Yeah. You know what? It was a quarantine project. Oh, yeah. hey. I think everybody got creative around that time. So people either, you know, you I don't know. A lot of people, you know, did good around that time. So thank you. We did a lot of thinking. Yeah. That was we had so much free time, and I just remember like go, coming out and just being like, "Look, like I want to do this." Just I wanted to come out with something with basics. I already have my own merch line that has like me my Vetexo stuff, but I wanted something that everybody was going to be able to wear. Not everybody wants to wear my name. You know, it's mm, only right. going to be like my legit supporters that are like, yeah, like, you know, I watch her that are going to rep, you know, Yvette XO. But with this, I was like, I want to come out with like some basic pieces, like just stuff that's like everyday stuff that, you know, guys and girls can wear. And I was telling him like the idea, like, let's do this and let's, you know, collaborate with like something really nice where it's like a man and a woman. And we'll be able to put both of our ideas because there's only so much I can do and there's only so much he mm -hmm. can do. He's going to be like, okay, let's do this. And then I'm going to be like, oh, well, I don't know if that's going to work out. So putting two brains together, we're like perfect. And then, he, yeah, he got, you know, together and thought about the name. And as soon as we heard the name, we knew it was going to, you guys yeah. are going to be hearing about it. Typically when you start a brand, you know exactly <laughs> when it clicks. You know, you're yeah. like, all right, this is it right here. And then, you know, the guy who designed my my Sharp and Dapper logo designed that one. So, you know, we, we just, it, it took a while. I still have the samples of all the ones that he sent before it was that one. So we had to take stuff off, put stuff in, take stuff off, and then boom. So Less yeah. is more, for sure. So maybe like a good, like, 10 months, right? 11 yeah. months of just... Until we launched, yeah. Like, it took that long. Yeah. So the delivery, like I said, you know, we waited. You get a little impatient, but it's like, I already waited almost a damn year. Might as well just wait two more weeks, you know? Yeah, and just listen to you guys pretty much talk about what you guys do and everything, like... I know you guys have two little ones. Like, how do you guys juggle that? You know, I'm a new father. I stay busy too. And uh, you know what I'm saying? You guys got, and I know that's a handful already. Uh, you guys have two little ones and you guys are both people that, you know, got business and things going on. How do you guys balance that lifestyle? Max takes care of Camila. No, I'm kidding. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I'm kidding. Okay, I got you. We're starting them young. Right. It's funny because when you have two back to back like that, you really think your two year old's like four, but <laughs> it's really a damn baby still. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You're like, watch your sister. They're like, Max, stop. You're like, hey, go go grab her. And I'm like, he doesn't know what the hell I'm doing. Yeah. <laughs> what? It's just funny. But um, I don't know how we do it sometimes. Honestly, um, they're both very different. So I feel like Max, it helps us out that he's very uh, independent. You know, he plays on his own. He chills on his own. Like, he doesn't need much, uh, uh, sorry, much attention. But Camila. Yeah. yeah. She's the one that definitely makes it a little harder on us. But before, you know, with social media and what I do, it was a little bit harder because Lisa's used to work. So I feel like this, you know, quarantine, obviously, we were together 24-7. So anytime that he needs to get something done, you know, I'll be with the babies. Or anytime that I'm doing something, he's with the baby. So definitely helps when mm -hmm. there's two people involved, you know, right. at least to take care of them. But it helps that at least one of the babies is more chill than the other one because Camila is the one that needs, like, our attention 24-7. Oh, and I think we just have to find her niche because I feel like she, we haven't found, like, what she likes, what entertains her, like, you know, how to keep her, how to get her tired. For example, Max, I mean, you wrestle with him or you <laughs> run around and he gets tired and he sleeps. Yes. And her, it's like, she's just up. Speaking about tired, we were babysitting them. And then <laughs> she didn't want to go to sleep with my mom. So yes. I was like, I guess. So she wanted to stay with me. And I was like, okay, she's going to go to sleep. She's watching the iPad. It's like 12. I'm like, all right, uh, we're going to try to go to bed. But man, crying all night. Eventually she falls asleep, but mm -hmm. she was a light sleeper. Oh, so yeah. night sleeper. For sure. I think I fell asleep like at three. No, but you know, the next day. <laughs> yeah, but, but you know what I'm talking about? Like you, you're like up and sleep. Yeah, up yeah, and sleep. yeah. Like it's like a weird feeling. And then when you wake up, you're like, okay. Like, yeah, and then having days, to work the next day. There's yeah. days where yeah. I try to get up and at least exercise around 630. But there's times where she wakes me up at six. And I'm like, yeah, why did I even sleep anymore? And then yeah. you take that awkward nap from like six to eight and it's already a wrap. You yeah. know, it's, it's hard. Um, And then there's days where. She has tough nights too, where her stomach hurts or something. So you come across those um, for sure. But um, or teething, right? Right now, yeah, she, she's teething, teething. And then the, the times where like else. there's times where Max sleeps on his own little crib too. But somehow at night he likes to come over. So it's like yeah. sometimes they're both on the bed and it's like hard to sleep, you know. So it well, gets Lisa hard. Sleeps like a king. I'm the one that's struggling. <laughs> hey, but they look for her though. Yeah. I'm yeah, like, right, what do you right, want me to right. do? And then they want to sleep the truth, on top right? of me though. I'm like, I wake up in the morning and then he's over there like all peaceful, like in his little corner, and I'm like with my kids on top of me. 
They literally, <laughs> but I feel like you know, obviously they were in her stomach, so I feel like they have that like attachment yeah, to yeah. you know to to her. But that's our good excuse we use, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, I don't know how we do it sometimes, but you know, when it's work, it's work, and when they need your attention, you got to make sure they divide it and you know give them the time that they need because you know that's not always going to be there as far as them being that little. You know, yeah. so and scheduling. Lisa has taught me that for sure. Oh, yeah, Just time management, schedule, and yes. routines. Like yes. making sure that it's the same thing every day, so they know, like, okay, this time's nap time, so we can get yeah. some stuff done. You just gotta beat the kids. I mean, I I do my thing early, and then I run some errands, and by the time I get back, sometimes they're not even up yet. Or, but then that changes because they keep growing. But it with her, she's hard. You know, it's hard for her to be scheduled, but I told her you can't get up and get mad because you didn't get up early. Like, you know, the time the kids get up, honestly. Mm -hmm. So it's like, do what you got to do. And the times that that she does wake up maybe as early as I do or a little after, like we're the most productive. So you just start to learn, you know, how to work around the kids for sure. You can't get mad at them. They're babies. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Let's take it back a little bit. Um obviously Blanca like when you first started you're Mm -hmm. you're doing makeup and everything I think when you first started um YouTube like there wasn't even that many people on YouTube right Mm -mm. so kind of take us through that like well yeah that process what led you to get into the makeup industry and obviously start a YouTube so I'm kind of interested in that because that started that all started when no one was really using YouTube she's Mm -hmm. the OG yeah OG (laughs) take it back 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 story time story time sorry time sorry Sorry, we surprised you guys real quick (laughs) that's That's a cute side effect um I mean obviously I started like I was maybe like graduating high school if I'm not mistaken and this is back when YouTube was just for you know learning and you know if you wanted to search something real quick you would go to youtube for something but i just remember me not wanting to know like me not wanting anybody to know that i did social media because i was embarrassed it was like weird like i didn't want people to know that i was on a camera talking to nobody you know what i mean because there wasn't there was literally nobody watching me i was just on the internet trying to put out stuff and i just remember like watching other girls that were on there like showing like makeup and hair and like their outfits and i was like well i can do that you know like i'm sure people would be interested on maybe what i'm what Mm -hmm. shirt i'm wearing or um you know what makeup i'm wearing so i started that and it was very like slow like i didn't get like a lot of people i had maybe like thirty thousand followers at the time and i just remember like me i think i transitioned and then i lost all my followers like i completely lost all my followers i changed my name and then I was like, okay, this just this life is not for me. Like, it's, I'm not meant to do this. So then Instagram came out, and this is when Instagram was literally just for iPhones. I don't know if you guys remember when like Android didn't have it, and okay. Instagram it was, was just for iPhones. Yeah, damn, <laughs> real OG. I didn't even have it's a phone. It's a real OG. I don't think I had a phone. It's about 1980. She's like, like my 1980. Yeah. <laughs> Back in the old times, <laughs> Instagram was just for iPhones once upon a time. God damn, I didn't. Know. And oh. nobody had it, so then it was just for editing. People would just go on there to put filters on their pictures and it was just like nature stuff i remember it was yeah you would just like upload it on facebook and stuff yeah yeah so then when that happened um it was just for instagram i mean just for iphone and um i remember this girl just being like hey like what like eyeshadow are you wearing so then i just started like you know posting like my eye like just like my eyeball like oh i'm wearing this eyeshadow or wearing this and that and then i just remember getting recognized by like this big makeup um company and from there, I like took off. They posted me once, and I gained like twenty thousand followers. And like, God, this is man. when you were able to grow with one picture. Yeah, and like you just needed hot. you just needed because like it was person. a star. It was a star. Yeah, you just needed one person to like mention your name, and then you would grow. I grew overnight like twenty thousand followers, and I was like, what the hell? Then from there, I restarted my YouTube channel, and I've been like solid on YouTube channel for what like five years now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so there was a lot of like time from. Me being in high school till obviously five years ago when it became official where I actually like like took off, you know, but um, in the beginning, it was very just like I was just doing it for fun and I was working a nine to five at Wells Fargo. So I didn't have no time to like dedicate to social media. And then from there, when I decided when we got married, I was like, let's just do it a little bit more like makeup. But I'm also trying to be like cute with my boyfriend. So I feel like people like that, mm-hmm. you know, like the whole like relationship thing and like me having a boyfriend and like me now getting married. So that's when it like really took off for me. People yeah, be more people interested in our life. Stuff, yeah. yeah. Like the makeup stuff was always good. Don't get me wrong. Like I feel like I always did, you know, the the cosmetic stuff and like the fashion. But 
people were more interested in our like our story so that's why with her like a lot of people think she's just strictly makeup but she made the yeah. transition from makeup to more of a everyday Lifestyle. life because yeah. that's kind of what people were more pulling for you know and still so. to this day if i post a picture a video of like me doing like fashion content or makeup content like all average you know like a hundred thousand views but if it's a video of like me and lisa's it's like 200 300 000. so it's like people gravitate towards family more than anything i so, think i've seen a tiktok the TikTok, yeah. the old fashioned one. I've been trying to do a yeah. TikTok. We 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 shot one. Uh, uh, Oscar's Oscar, like hop on the TikTok. I'm like, what? Like, right. Dude, it. you should with we your fashion did. stuff. Well, we did one together, and I mean, it was cool. But you yeah. know, I haven't hopped on it in a while. But it's just so hard because you're like, fuck, what do I do? I always tell Lisa to tell Oscar that like, he's doesn't use his good looks for nothing. Yeah, I'm like, you hear that? Para que? Para que? <laughs> <laughs> one of these. One of I'm like, get the ladies, hurry yeah. up! Yeah. Been so busy, but you know we we got some <laughs> some good plans, me and Ray. So it, it should be uh, a good. Uh, it should be good for the future. Uh, we'll see what happens. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, I've always told him that he's getting better, though. He's getting better. I mean, from when he started to now, I think he's starting to you know. Yeah. Click. Yeah. So we believe in him. He just yeah. needs a little motivation sometimes. A little guidance, but he's yeah. good. Uno sin todo. That too. That too. Yeah. No, so real quick i know you guys are talking about like family stuff mm -hmm. since we're in the family topic how did you guys meet when did you guys meet where did you guys meet i think it's you know it's people maybe people that know. don't know yeah yeah Let's people remind them just don't bust a tear let me see where did i meet her <laughs> <laughs> now nah, you know what it's funny um i used to work at the mall and um i was selling sunglasses when i was in high school still so i was like 16 17 so that's why you know in the last podcast we were talking about um, I was playing basketball, but I said, screw this. This isn't going to do anything for me. So I started working, um, like an under the table job at the mall. And, um, I remember her sister worked at a jewelry store and Lisa was like, who's that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, so then she went to visit her one day and I was like, okay, you know, she looks cool. So, <laughs> but, cool. but see with, with <laughs> me, I was always not, I'm not like a guy that's going to go and talk to a girl just out of nowhere. I'm a little more reserved like shy back. like the girls will never know if i like them or not basically you know what i'm saying some guys make it known to me it's just like okay i see you but whatever but she went a couple more times and i was like damn this girl's coming over here every day now <laughs> think she wants something <laughs> <laughs> but no so so then yeah eventually like somehow we got hooked up because uh, one of my coworkers knew her and then we had already kind of seen each other but then you know we we exchanged i think she gave um, I she gave me her number or I don't yeah. know what it You're was. Your MySpace. I was no. Oh, there no, you go. No. <laughs> what song did you have on there? After you, fell love? <laughs> you fell in love. What was it? I think it was an Akon song, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> Which one was it? I don't even think I had you on MySpace. No, nah. it was not our MySpace. No, she it was Facebook. It was Facebook. She, she poked me. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I did. We poked each other after that. I was like, all right, cool. Yep, she likes me. But that that's when you used to like flirt through there, you know. But um, yeah, damn, he used, he used it to was just like that quick. Yeah, you know, well, he, used to work at, he used to work at the mall and my sister, you know, from my end over here, she obviously saw him and she was like, I think he's like, he was only 16 at the time and I'm older than him. So I'm older by like a year and a half, almost two years. So when I first, um, you know, went with my sister, she was like, I, I thought he was so cute, but then I realized he was 16. So I was like, let me just hook him up with my sister. And I was like, you want to hook me up with a 16-year-old? I was in college already. He was in high school. Uh, I was like, uh, uh Yeah. And then um, I had short hair, but I had a chin strap like full already. So I, I looked I older, you know? I he was like know? 21 or something. He did not look 16 But it was all. it was hella awkward because even she didn't care that I was 16, but at the same time she did. So she'll be like, oh. Oh, like, like do you drive? How's everything? <laughs> she was like, oh, what you been up to? I was like, just school. She was like, high school? <laughs> like, oh. you're not trying to roast me. Like, yeah. what, what else can you say? Yeah, and then, right. and then you know, when you're younger, trying to impress an older girl, like, you know, they ask you stuff like, oh, do you drive? Well, I'm getting my license, you know? <laughs> or I'm turning 17 in February. You know what I'm saying? You try to jump ahead, but yeah. we, we fell off a little bit around that time, I want to mm -hmm. say. We, we lost contact for like a year, and then, you know, it was it, around when I was I was twenty. Yeah, yeah. It was so eighteen. You're like I'm away until I'm he's away. eighteen. Yeah, I don't. I'm trying to go to jail. <laughs> <laughs> trying to catch a case. I was trying to beat a case. You know, I graduated high school. It, it was cool, and then yeah, I just remember out of nowhere I got a text, and then we already. It's like we picked up where we left off, kind of thing. Yeah. And I think we both knew that we liked each other, but it was like, all right, like, Everything are we gonna really talk to each other? Though. Are we gonna really talk to each other? Or are we not? You know, because it's like if I'm gonna talk to you, it's because we're gonna work towards something, and if not, then. Like he wanted I was young, you know, at that point already. I already knew because I already I 
I, re- I already had my fun, but I didn't have a, a girlfriend because I was like, I'm not going to jump around from girl to girl. Like, if I'm going to have a girlfriend, it's going to be like, you know. I feel like my mom taught us that, huh? Yeah. Like, no, really? no, what no. no. She, not she, she, she was like, <laughs> like believe Oscar? it or not, yeah, like Oscar, she, you sure I was scared. <laughs> dude, I was scared to get, even have a girlfriend because she was like fucking chancla coming out. Fucking whoop my ass. I was just fucking yeah. scared, intimidated. But yeah. mm-hmm. fuck, I mean, she raised us. No, she, your she mom did an well. amazing job. Yeah, so, um, you know, sure enough, we talked and then it led to boyfriend, girlfriend. She kind of forced me, but... Mm-hmm. I had no choice. Everything <laughs> was, was initiated by me. We got to, I gave him my number. I told him he was she my boyfriend. Me, she, you know when We're I knew it get was married. getting real? When she said like, oh, I'm going to invite you to a family party. And I was like, I'm not, I mean, what are you going to say I am? She was like, my boyfriend. I was like, fuck. <laughs> so I asked her out like the day before the party. <laughs> All right. Fuck. Yeah. I was like, I don't want to be faking it over there, you know? So, yeah. But I mean, by that point, we were really good. So, yep, yeah. But nice. it's been, it, yeah. I mean, we're going on 10 years, like dating and married five, so. Yeah, we're that holding strong. So it's been a while, yeah. <laughs> so you guys pretty much been growing together with the business that you guys been doing, because obviously at that time you weren't doing the YouTube makeup mm-hmm. stuff and you weren't doing the cutting. She, yet. she had that when we met. She was doing the YouTube, but it's where she said that she was scared. That nobody she didn't knew. Want nobody I didn't know. even tell him. There wasn't even no oh, Instagram okay. yet. Didn't even know. Yeah. Uh-huh. So then she told me like later, but I was I wasn't even I didn't even have my license when I met her. I was still just working. Yeah. I didn't even cut like that. But she knew I cut. She told me you should get your license, and then she pushed me to go to school. Mm-hmm. And then I finally got my L's after, you know, high school. And then um, I was working as a barber and then she was still at the bank. And then she, yeah, cosmetology school. Mm -hmm. And then she got out. She never really did anything with that. But when she was at the bank, man, she was doing well and chilling, but she was still kind of like not fully happy at her job. And then she made that transition. Once I was, I didn't have my shop yet, but I was already established as a barber in, in, in town. So I was doing well, and then she was kind of, like, not happy. So she finally made that, literally, you that know, jump. The, that jump. And then, you know. Yeah, a lot of it came Sorry. from definitely him, like, pushing me, I guess, to to do. You know, sometimes you need somebody to make you feel like you can do that. Like, you're yeah. going to be fine. I feel like I was more scared of leaving my 9 to 5 with a f- guaranteed 401k, like, mm-hmm. I was making great money at the bank. Like I was growing with the company. I literally saw myself like growing with the bank. I was like, I'm going to stay here for a couple of, you know, years. And I I saw myself like actually working for the bank for a long time. And then my seminar started. Remember, we we decided to to do like seminars and I started teaching, you know, girls and it took off for me. Like we toured all over the United States. She did the first one. I remember she was scared. Like, Oh my God. I don't know if it's going to fill up. I'm scared. And I think that's the one that really sold her on like, all right, I have to take a little, this a little more serious. And, um, it was hard to gamble with both though. You try to do everything, but it just wasn't possible. I was working nine to five, Monday through Friday seminars on the weekends. We were flying for the weekends. Like we were, remember when we did our three day thing from like Houston, Texas, it was like Texas, it was like Dallas, Houston, Arizona. And and literally all her friends worked at the bank. So they used to freaking like try to figure out how to, how for us to like go at the same time, you know, because you had to ask for PTO kind of deal. So it was hard, but Mm -hmm. Um, I think when she quit, you know, she finally, you know, I think that's when it really took off for her, but, uh, it took time, you know, for it to get to that point. Yeah. So you guys having that, uh, that YouTube platform, I know you got one and she's got one and then I don't know if you guys got another one, right? A uh, family one or something like that, or is it the well, same? Well, my vlog channel. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. So how, how, you know, cause I know you guys drop consistently or I don't know how you guys drop. Not it. me. Not you. Okay. <laughs> I, I do Monday through Friday. But, I mean, Monday through Tuesday. And Monday I know, th- now I know that's, that's tough. Because I just started like editing little videos at my gym and things like that. And you're sitting there and you're like, your eyeballs start hurting. And I'm like, imagine doing this 24 seven. It's yeah. like, you know that. what I'm saying? And now it's like, it's kind of like, it's your job in a way. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, how do you, how do you manage that? And I'm glad you even mentioned that yeah. because I feel like people don't get it. Oh, yeah. Like I get so much shit like, like, oh, it must I be nice it was to just to sit on your, your ass all day, you know, and get <laughs> money. I'm like, I wish, <laughs> I wish it was just that. No, it's not like that. And you do got to put in the, the reps for sure. But it's, it's the editing. I mean, when I did mine, for example, I started like last April and um, I said, I right, screw it. It was up, but I was just not ever consistent with it. And honestly, people, I, I've done business videos, but I've done videos of just lifestyle day to day. And people are more interested in my life than mm-hmm. they are in opening a business you know what i'm saying yeah, yeah, yeah. there's very that's why they say there's very few entrepreneurs not people who are not that interested in it. it's hard but um whenever i put stuff about me then yeah they're more interested so i've been trying to get more consistent. she always tells me she helps me out and stuff but 
just even do those first couple of times that I was like editing a video or learning how to record or sometimes it wasn't recording, you know, like those days frustrate you for real. But I mean, I don't know how she does it, but um, there was a time where she was posting every day. It was crazy. Damn. Well, and yeah, then even that? the followers are like, hey, when's the next video? When's yeah. the next video? And, and you're I just, just like, posted. fuck. <laughs> yeah, it's just hard. Yeah. Well, I mean, with me, I, I post three, two videos on my main channel and then two videos on my blog channel. Um, I just try to pre-record everything. Like I usually spend one or two days out of the week just pre-recording everything and then it's just ready to go mm. live. You know, it just, it works, but I'm working literally from the moment I open my eyes to the moment I close my eyes. And it's, how long does it take you to edit a video? Because yeah, you edit your own stuff, right? No, well, I have help now. Okay. Oh. Yeah, I have help now that um, I have an assistant who helps me with all of my editing. But before when I was doing all of my stuff, I'm quick with editing. I can't edit a video in like, 20 minutes oh shit. yeah because even my assistant it takes her longer to edit well i'll just jump in there be like look it has to go live let me go in there real quick yeah. because i know what i filmed mm -hmm. just i'm sure like you guys are gonna yeah. you know mm -hmm. what we talked about so you're yeah. gonna go in there be like oh, okay well let me just edit this out because i already know that i didn't like it yeah as opposed to somebody else editing your stuff they don't know what happened so they have to listen to the whole you know 40 minutes or whatever the video is but yeah and that that stuff i already i've been doing it for so long that i already have it like oh, you know, man. Yeah, she has it's, a formula it's, down it's, it's yeah, nailed, yeah. Yeah, it takes time. But that's um, what I told Lisa. I'm like, just be patient. You're gonna, you're gonna get it. Yeah, like the people that do, for example, even videos like this where you sit down and they try to add all the funny stuff in between. Those are the ones oh, that yeah. are hard because you got to add a bunch of effects and make it look like zoom in, zoom out effects. So, mm -hmm. you know, I try to give everything more raw. But, um, you know, this is dope. I was telling her that I've been wanting to do a podcast. You yeah. know, I think that's the main goal for my YouTube, and um, you know, I like it. Let you this, get into it. Is this your first time hearing yourself, Blanca? Mm -hmm. <laughs> how does no, it sound? How, how do you feel? How does it feel? I should say it's I different. Do you think? Do you think it feels different than being like just recording a YouTube or a regular conversation? Just you know. No, I feel like I can hear you guys like how you guys sound, but I feel like I sound different. <laughs> It's like, is this really me talking? This is, I'm annoying. <laughs> <laughs> nah, People really, listen to really me all day. That's really how you sound. Fuck. Trust me. <laughs> no, I'm <playing>. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Nah, I'm kidding. But it is a different vibe doing a podcast. You know, that's what I like about it. And I feel like it's it sounds official. For Uli says saying? he loves to talk. Like, he loves to talk, but he also loves to inspire people. Like, I feel like he needs something like this, where he just, like, goes Platform. into a room and just vents and chats and talks and then so this all guy you know yeah i think that that comes from being that that entrepreneur i think because you have that brick and mortar facility that that sharp and dapper brand and again it's like you build that up and it's like I, i'm the same way man like i build my gym and it's kind of like when you around people that need inspiration that you know have something you want to talk to them you want to give them that advice because they're taking it in and you're doing some good just kind of planting that seed so I think it's just natural natural for people to do that you know that that built a, a business like that it's because it's, it's hard it's real hard and to keep it running yeah, 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 for sure. I mean, it's uh, tough, especially the transition of being like a, at work every day and then coming, you know, switching over to not working so much, but still being productive. That's the part that was, I think, hard. But I mean, thankfully, you know, she understands it and then I understand her. So it works out. But I mean, out. even separating that from like parenting, I'm sure you like you're so in the zone too, you know, with like work, work. And then yeah. you get home and you're like, okay, well, I have a, to be a dad now. Yeah. It's like you can't sometimes you're just like shit let me just do this real yeah, quick and then i gotta you're post like, up yeah i gotta post some online some yeah. content because every time every time we post a picture or a video it's like new clients are watching the clients are, and so it's it's like for me it's like a way to make money mm -hmm. you know and i'm pretty sure it's for you guys as well so it's like you know it's like why like i gotta do it now and it's like but then it's like wait i got yeah. my little baby there's no clocking at, out with yeah. this you know yeah yeah for sure it's hard to create your schedule when you don't have one technically yeah, you know? yeah. it could but, be a good thing or a bad thing because some people could could be slackers off that, you know what I'm saying? The time management part, and they were like, ah, uh, you know. Especially that, time management, it's, it's but important. But even just being a parent, I feel like people kind of give up sometimes. Like, oh, like, ah, whatever, I'm a dad, I can't do that no more. And I'm like, I mean, you're giving into that thought and idea, yeah. but in reality, it should be more of a fuel than, than Oh, anything. yeah, definitely oh, a yeah. fuel. You want to build something great for, for your children. While mm -hmm. they're little, too, because yeah. in reality right now, yeah, like, um, you know, our babies are, are little, but they're, they're not going to remember this time. But at least when they are remembering stuff, you know, we'll be more there for them. That's the goal. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Making that transition, obviously, from where we're at Stockton um, to SoCal. Um, how has it been different, I guess, like adapting out here? It's fast. I fast mean, one life. day you'll feel like you're on top. The next day it'll eat you up. Oh, fuck. <laughs> like the <laughs> next day you'll sick. be like, damn, like I'm really out here or damn, I'm busy. Like, you know, it gets in your head. 
sometimes, but at the same time, there's just so much more inspiration and um, you get new ideas. Honestly, I mean, sure, we've created new businesses out here in our yeah. first year. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So we've been making some moves with that, and you know, I like it's 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 a good separation. It's really not far. So I feel like you know you grow closer to your loved ones, yeah. you know, the ones that are there, and the ones that. You know, not just loved ones, but even just friends. You know, who's gonna be there is gonna kind of separate themselves. You know? Yeah, cause uh, like even like Ray's gonna most likely do make a transition out here, and like as far as what like the fitness industry, mm -hmm. I feel like it's out here. You know, so uh, I've been having it in mind. I definitely do want to. So you know, Ray's uh, trying to get me to come along, and I think that's gonna be a big move, but. You got to do it. You know, you got to put yourself in an uncomfortable yeah. situation. Are you ready? And I feel like I work, I work I work good under under pressure. Like I I just need hey, that the, the little the little meal preps ain't going to be ready at home anymore. Uh, <laughs> you, yeah. go you know go what? Go you know He's what? No, I actually do them. Gonna Ever be like, since my mom started the she had a taco truck and you know, usually you'd come home from school and you know, she had all the food ready and stuff. So when she uh started working, I started just prepping basics. I'm good with the basics. It's fine. You know, I could do it Monday through Friday, but once Friday hits, you know, I'll slip up with a little sheet meal. But from time to time, you know, but I should be fine with that. You know, if it not, is. a little sopa maruchan is fine. You know, I just have them in <laughs> That's stock. Blanca right there. Hello sodium. Hello sodium. Hello Blanca. I mean, um, tell them a little bit about how it is. Like, you know, you you really got to grow, especially you if you're going to move like alone like that. It's it's different, you know. What, what do you mean? Like just a transition in general to, to some, some little I'm advice. Talking. Give them some advice. Yeah, because I'm going to be, so like what he's saying, yeah, like, like I said, I have an established gym over there for over nine years, year over year has done well. And like for me, it's like, what can I do next? I'm living here in, you know, in this area. Mm -hmm. It's fine. I can just buy a house here and call it, you know, it's it. You know what I'm saying? Right. And it's like, but then it's like, no, nah, that's not it. That's that's not me. I want to keep growing. And uh, so now I'm like, you know what? I want to go out to this this LA area out here and then start something. Start from Start from scratch, but build something that I built over there. Mm -hmm. So like a private studio, we want to, we want to build a private studio where we, uh, we do personal training clients and, uh, it's still the same brand that we have over there, Savage League Fitness, but bring it over here. Uh, and then from there, just kind of have our podcast room, you know, where we connect with people. Cause we obviously been coming down here, uh, you know, a lot, just connecting with people. And then, uh, again, just network with people. And I also got this coffee business called Royal Class Coffee that I, that I'm working on. That's another passion that I have, and you know, did that during quarantine, just like you guys did the, the your your brand you guys got. So, um, you know, meeting Oscar and, and doing these things, you know, we kind of clicked really well, and obviously, like that guidance, me and him, like I have that entrepreneur mindset, and that transition I'm going to be making for me. I don't give a crap. I'm going to do it regardless. I'm not scared. Like, mm -hmm. what's there to be scared of? Like, shit don't work out. I go back and right. I take care of. My, I still got a biz over there, and now with meeting him, it's like. You got potential, dude. Like, I wouldn't be telling him that if he didn't yeah. have potential. Yeah, like, I think I we it. all have said that about Oscar. Yes. But see, that thing with me, it's like I already have that business, that, that side of business down. So it's kind of like, well, just come come along. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. Uh, let's do some. Let's do yeah, some I work. I think Oscar needs yeah. that, honestly. I feel with, like he needs that little reality check. Yeah, with, life, the, with the tenacity, you know? with the tenacity fit stuff that he's that he's been working on since uh, 20, uh, uh, 1999. So, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I scroll back and I look. But if people thought that was a jib already, bro. bro. They he, thought he, I, the thing was that when I did it, it was like, what, 2017? And then... I was like, man, people think it's like, oh, you got a Tenacity Fit gym? And I'm like, oh, fuck, I don't, you know, because the, at the time, I kind of wanted to transition that into a gym. I was like, fuck, I don't want to do no gym. I want to do a brand, you know, a brand, mm -hmm. a clothing brand, um, something along the lines with, well, fitness, of course. So, you know, that's what I started working towards. And eventually, I changed the logo twice. And then finally, for my graduation gift, my brother actually uh, hooked me up with that guy. And he did my logo, and I just fell in love with it. And I was like, man, this has potential. I see a lot in it. Boom. Just invested. So something I've been working on, and I've been taking it serious. And now it's like, go for it. That way, it's not something that I look back to. And I'm like, fuck, why well, didn't do it? Yeah. yeah. And that's going to be the same thing if you don't do those changes. Like me, I'm the same way. I don't ever think about anything. I don't ever think about the consequences. Nope. I'm like, look, what's the worst that can happen? The worst that can happen is me not doing it and wondering the rest of my life, like, what would it have been if I would have done this? Yeah. Like me, I'm so like, let's do it. We're moving. Like even when with we made the transition out here, it was from literally like 
we woke up and I was like, look, we're selling our house. We're leaving. And it's, I didn't, I don't even think I told Lisa we're selling. I said the house for sale. Yeah. Oh shit. Oh. Yeah. He's like, we, what? yeah. Obviously it wasn't, it wasn't the initial, it, was like, it wasn't the initial plan though. Like we, we didn't, we never expected to be out here, but yeah. Um, there's some stuff that happened and we obviously mm -hmm. were in a way we felt forced to like, okay, move. we have to move, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So we, we moved and you know, it always gets bad before it gets good. And I feel like it was a blessing in disguise almost, you know yeah, what I'm saying? And it worked out for us and it's, it's been a positive change. Um, obviously we love Stockton and visiting and our hometown, but, yeah. um, it's just like, you know, it's always going to be those places where it's like, man, it's hard, you know, you can grow, but if you don't leave, that's it. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, that's it. yeah, exactly. And that's what that was going, going back to that, that, you know, that advice that I guess you can give, I guess ourselves and even people watching that want to do certain transitions. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, I know we talked about it on the podcast that we do, Ulysses, uh, Ulysses but, um, you know, Blanca, what, what kind of advice and what kind of, uh, how was it for you with that transition? Um, I feel like it, the transition was good because I feel like I've always had such a good support system around me. So I feel like that keeps me very like grounded and just very, a lot of people believe in me. So it's like, I, I don't want to let those people down. Yeah. So like, I always think about those things and then my kids, you know, on top of that, but I'm always the one person that if you have a dream, like I'm going to a hundred percent believe it. I feel like you can do anything if you put your mind to it, you know what I mean? Like if you tell me you want to go do something, only you can do it, you know, only you're going to be able to do it, but you have to take that initiative to actually make that step. And if you don't, then you're never going to know what's going to happen. You know, and I have a lot of people around me that like, they're scared. They're like, no, I don't know if I'm going to do it. I'm like, well, that's the first part. You're, you're fearful. So it's yeah. like the first step is not being scared. Cause at the end of the day, like, yeah, I even told him, I'm like, look, if the worst, like what's going to happen if we don't like it, like, okay, we have, you know, somewhere to go back, it's still home, yeah. you know, but thank God, like we ended up finding home here and it has been amazing. Like, I am so happy we made the transition yeah, out here. Yeah. And, um, I mean, of course you have your rough days too, you know, like I told you, you know, like the first day I remember, I'll never forget the first day we got here. And, um, obviously from SoCon and NorCal, it's different as, as even the littlest things, like electricity, like water, all that stuff. Like cable. What do you mean you, got on com you don't have Comcast? Yeah. yeah like that's we're the like, best. We're like, like, best. like, what do you mean? You don't have Internet PG slaughter? Yeah. Like, no like wherever, depending where you're at. And it's just like so weird. We got here, um, you know, we were renting and then we didn't have access to water. We got here. We had like 30 minutes to go to the city to go get the thing turned on. And we had to stay here for the night, you know, babies, no, no, no heater, electricity, you know, nothing. like we, it was like, damn, like it's almost like God's testing you. Yeah. But I laughed it off because I was like, bro, this is already just part of like, <laughs> let me see if you fold, yeah. you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like they're going to throw things at you. And that's just how it is, bro. Like you're going to have your days where it's going to be like, damn, it was so easy. Like you don't have your friends that you could call to go help you fix a damn tire. You don't know your tire shop. You don't know your all that stuff, you know, like the day to day stuff, calling people. You don't have that. So. Or you used to even hang out with like friends. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's lonely right. or you know what I'm saying? But yeah. you focus more. Yeah, as I was you, say, you, you work a lot more. Thing. And it's not that you're working overworking, you just you'll rather work, you know? And even out here though, just driving, I don't know what it is about just the city, like it inspires you so much. Like yeah. you just seeing just mountains. Pull it, pulling up, yeah, pulling up as we're driving <laughs> yeah, over here. Yeah, like it mm -hmm. just feels so inspiring. Like I tell him all the time, like, I don't know what it is about us just being outside and it makes me want to work and everybody's in their own business everybody's like working everybody has their own like goals and their own ambition out here and it's so different than like just your normal day-to-day -day life that we had before especially you know? like also you know you're around more inspiring people so like you get inspired all the time and i think every time we would visit um it was like damn like this is where the hub is you know and you know back home it's some people get it but honestly a lot don't you yeah. know they're like well yeah. well why do you want to why do you want to move you already got your gym here just get a house exactly. and but i know what you mean because even before we were kind of like forced to leave i i was sitting i remember outside one time in the pool and okay we had a house married babies everything had business going good and it's just like damn like this is it you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. it's a little scary huh? yeah i was like damn like no you know what i'm saying there's more going. out there gotta keep going and you get curious to see what more you can do but i feel like we all got way more talent for a lot of other stuff you just gotta like unlock those it's almost like a mortal combat like, like like a little pokemon you ball i want to be the very best <laughs> It's yeah. like you're growing up and you're like, well, I want to do this or whatever. Like you getting into the makeup mm -hmm. industry and you, you would have never thought you would transition yeah. into like clothing, you know, or even me like yeah. talking in a podcast when I used to be hella shy. 
yeah talking in front of people and stuff and then when ray brought it up i was like oh shit and no, then tell here him, we tell, are. tell him tell him what you here thought tell him what you thought when i said it he was like yeah we, we should do a podcast together we're like, all working out at the gym and then we're like i was like man i haven't done a podcast in a while and i was like oh. i was like it's just kind of hard to keep doing your own pod, like a podcast by yourself talking about ideas and things because the quarantine everything people were kind of sketchy to meet mm-hmm. and you know i was like you know what like why don't we just do another one yeah like, so. And then I was like, you know, better yet, why don't we just, I'll just rebrand the podcast that I got and you hop on with me. You know what I'm saying? He was like, that'd be sick. And then I was like, okay. <laughs> I was like, that'd be sick. I go out so the door he, like, fuck. He said he, was all, he said he was all nervous. I stayed in a car for like 20 minutes thinking about it <laughs> before I drove. Nah, but we. awkward uh, moment in the car before you leave. Yeah. And then he was like, what, what name should we uh, come up with? I was like, Los Jalapeños. Los, los Chiles. Los Chiles. Did you say Los Chiles? Los Chiles. Los like, Perros. And then, I, and then he said chingones or something and i was like yeah, yeah. los chingones that's that's that <laughs> so yeah. we just went from there and here we are today no, that's dope. Legit. yeah yeah it's so i mean it's funny because like it's still cool because i still see it like damn that's tight that he has the podcast with him because like that's something Oscar's i want to do yeah. Yeah. A, little, a little oscar <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm growing a little bit more facial hair now <laughs> yeah he's doing his vitamins. my hair's falling off fuck so he's just gonna shave it up oh yeah. so it's genetic then it's genetic, yeah. Yeah. It same, genetic. same thing i don't want to remove the beanie yeah, <laughs> nah, but it's cool. Um, thank you guys for having us. Yeah, yeah. Shit. well, any message like you have for anyone that's watching out there, maybe something that you can inspire them um, or anything you got to say, both of you guys. Follow your dreams. Nah, just uh, <laughs> thank you guys for supporting us, and um, you know, hopefully, you guys got a little more insight. You know, obviously we wouldn't be able to speak on here if it wasn't for the support of the people that have kept us, you know, going. Yeah, you and know. honestly, just seeing as an example, like, anything you do, like, you can make anything happen. You know, yeah. I feel like we've grown so much, and we've always been, we, every day is always, like, even though it's taken so long, I tell him all the time, I'm like, I feel like we've been doing this for so long, but it's, like, it's never been, like, a downfall, you know? It's yeah. always been, it's always, every year is always better than the next. Yeah, mm-hmm. and I think it's always, like, uh, sometimes we, we beat ourselves up, but a lot of the things that we do are everything to someone else. I think sometimes, you know, maybe yeah. somebody wants a gym, somebody wants to have their own fitness brand, somebody wants to have a shop, somebody wants to start a YouTube. Like, what we're already doing is already very good for a lot of people, yeah. you know? And it's a very hard transition from not doing it to actually starting it. And we're already so much farther ahead, you know, than that, so um it's dope and you know i think now we're at a point where everything just seems so attainable so that's why we just keep going because we know we can do it you know even if yeah. it takes six months like we just know it's going to happen well you know your work ethic you know that you're yeah it's your cape what you're capable of you keep unlocking like a you keep be- uh, breaking through that mental barrier every time like okay i did this i can do this i can take mm-hmm. on the next challenge like screw it and you just keep leveling up leveling up like you yeah, said like you feel like there's nothing you can't do yeah exactly it's, it's like crazy. mario when he eats the mushroom and he like gets yeah. bigger. yeah but you know what's crazy like yeah, like you were see. yeah oh. <laughs> <laughs> we were mushroom. actually just playing super mario brothers yesterday <laughs> oh, yeah, worry. that shit was fun <laughs> oh, man for sure man well uh appreciate you guys uh uh coming on you know and uh taking the time to speak with us and you know, you guys as listeners, everybody that's going to watch this, um, stay tuned for this. Where can they find you guys? Lisa S underscore Benitez on all platforms. And then. Vedexo? That's me. it. No intro. <laughs> no that's it. That's it. It's got to come right up. She's about to drop the mic. Yeah. Just Google yeah. me. Vedexo is here. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> right. What about you guys? Let them know. Double check. Oscar Benitez underscore 12. Fashion videos coming soon on TikTok. Yes. A little model video? Maybe. <laughs> OnlyFans. <laughs> that might be the number one yeah. OnlyFans. Yeah. 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 And then uh, Ray Gonzalez, three Zs at the end. And then don't forget Los Chingo and his podcast on YouTube, Instagram, Spotify, Apple Podcast. And stay tuned for the next episode. Let's go. Thank you, right, guys. Thank you. We're out. <laughs>